G'day, I'm Andy from Zodiac and today I'd like to give you two important tips so that you will have the best results from your MX-8 pool cleaner. If you'd like to come with me, I'll show you what we can show you. First of all, we will be showing you the right amount of suction that you must maintain for the best results of your MX-8 cleaner. First of all, I would like to show you our automatic control valve, which is referred to as the AD valve. The AD valve has three settings on it, one, two and three. It always goes out on setting number two, which we find is most probably the best speed. If your pump is not very strong, you may have to shift this to go to number three setting. But if your pump is very large, and it's like a one and a half horsepower pump, you may need to slow the, the amount of water going through the actual cleaner, so you select number one. What we're then going to do is we're going to adjust the right amount of water which will go through your MX-8 cleaner. What the optimum is, we need two and a half. It'll read two and a half on this pool pulse. And where we take that measurement is at the end of the hose, just prior to where the actual head of the MX-8 attaches to the hose. It is most important that if you do take the hose out of the water, you have to have the pump switched off. Otherwise it's going to be sucking air through your system. What you do now is then you start your pump up and then you read where the actual indicator is so that what you're wanting for perfect suction is 2.5. As you can see there, it is now reading too low, it is only reading one and a half. As you saw on the pull pulse, the reading was less than 2.5. We therefore have to increase the amount of suction which passes through the MX-8 head. To do that, what we have to do is go from two on the AD valve to setting number three. As you can see, this is setting number three. All right. That will increase the suction so as we should be able to get a reading of 2.5. As you can see, it is now 4.5. The ideal setting is 2.5. So what we have to do then is go to our relief valve. You can see number one setting there. So we change it from the number two setting to the number one setting. This then will then give you 2.5 on the pull pulse, which is the perfect suction for the MX-8 cleaner. Yep, it is now, as you can see, it is now at 2.5 on the pull pulse, which is the ideal suction for your MX-8 cleaner. To reattach the MX-8 head to the hose, what we have to do is hold the hose under water, submerge the MX-8 head, get all the bubbles out, all the air out, and then just attach it with the quick connector and your pool cleaner is now operational. My second tip, which is most important, is that when you take your MX-8 cleaner out of the pool, you must disconnect the hose from the cleaner's head. Otherwise, you get a very large kink, or a permanent kink in that first leader hose. The leader hose is the piece of hose that has the float on it, and the quick connector, and attaches to the actual MX-8 head. But always remember, when you take it out of the pool, you have to disconnect the hose from the cleaner and keep the hose straight. So I hope that these two tips have been valuable information for you. Remembering that you must have the correct flow. If the correct flow is 2.5 on the pool pulse. And secondly, if you ever take it out of the pool, 
make sure that you disconnect the hose from the head of the cleaner. Keep all the hoses straight. Thank you and all the best.